Hi, air signs. Welcome to your twin flame reading for this week, <clears throat> where we're going to take a look at both sides and see, kind of get an idea of what's going on with you, what's going on with your partner. So for those of you who have seen that I've made the change, I used to do it every Friday, just one general, and now I broke it down into um, elements. So we're going to start with air. And I'm going to pull a twin flame soulmate card for you and one for your partner. We're going to look at all the main messages on this side and we're going to continue that particular reading and I'll move into more detail and we're going to pull oracle cards. It's going to be awesome on the other side as well. So what came out for you is anxiety. Yeah anxiety. You might be a little bit worried right now, a little nervous and definitely anxious waiting. For some of you, you hear me talk about when we can feel that energy shift. Okay. We feel something's coming, but we don't know what. That's what I'm hearing for you, that this has a lot to do with it. You're feeling this pulling in your solar plexus. It's an inner knowing. They're telling me that for this group of you, you feel it. You feel it deep within, okay? Whether it touches your solar plexus or not, you feel in it. So let's pull one for your partner and we'll continue um, after that. Yeah, playful. They might be doing uh, really well now. And for those of you where you are feeling that pull in the solar plexus, that might be their energy that you're feeling. They're lifted. They're feeling good. This is lovely energy. I know anxiety doesn't feel lovely, but when we're talking about this connection, they, the runner, I'm going to refer to playful, is the runner. Anxiety is the one who's spiritually aware of this connection first. This is the one that can't commit. So when they're shut down and running, operating from a low vibration, they wouldn't get this playful card. So they're feeling better. Their energy is rising up and you're feeling it. Now, that can go two ways. And we're going to take a look and see how that goes for you guys. So let me pull some messages for you. Air signs. Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Oh, and Aquas, I'm going to do a bonus reading for you guys because of the such a huge amount of views. For you, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is feeling absolutely amazing. When we have the opportunity for this new beginning, right? Feeling as if you have everything in order, you're going the direction you need to go. Super excited about this, but you're ang anxious, you're worrying about this new beginning. Typically, it has everything to do with prosperity, which covers everything on the material plane. So we have Queen of Cups. This is opening your heart. Queen of Cups is a it's a it's a wonderful energy when we're looking at this because this is you having an open heart or the person you're dealing with. This is general, so it can go vice versa. I'm reading this as you. This is saying you have built the world that you want. You you're really happy. You really are happy. You're ready for this new beginning. But if you notice, her cup is here. So. The cup has not been filled. That's the only thing you're missing. You have everything. You're anxious. You're worried that you're not going to be with your life partner. Maybe you're wondering if your partner, your twin flame, is going to contact you. You're open. You're, you're very excited emotionally. You're feeling wonderful, except the anxiety. And we're going to see why you're anxious, okay? We're going to see what it is. I'm sure it has something to do with your partner. So, we have the Seven of Swords. And the Ace of Swords. Yeah. Seven of Swords. This is all about things being kept secret in the moonlight. We can't see things clearly. 
They may have been hiding some things from you. And I do believe, because we are looking at the moon, if you're reading the tarot card itself, they're afraid of what they do not see. They're afraid to move forward. There were secrets. There was deception. Seven of Swords is, is deception. But I'm seeing that this is all about fear. Now, some of them could have been lying, most definitely. Ace of Swords, this is truthful communication about what they hid from you. Truthful communication coming in. Sword is up. Communication is coming out. It's coming toward you. Yeah, they're going to tell you what they had uh, not told you and what their fears are. Everything that, you know, this cloak is representing the hiding, the veil, all right, that they, they were uh, hiding things from you. Most definitely. Some of them may have gotten a divorce, so they're feeling very spry. But what I'm picking up with your partner in this group is that they are ready to come in and tell you. They're ready to overcome the fear and say, I freaking love you, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what some might say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, we have the emperor. Yeah. Okay. The emperor is a person. This is your partner. This is how you view them. You see them as an amazing, very authoritative individual. Somebody who's very much in control of the world that they create. Like literally in control of it. And it suits this person really well. They're in their ego quite a bit. For this group of you, they most definitely were in their ego. You know, the emperor does not open up and share. They don't express themselves. There's a sense of righteousness about the energy that was uh, in the beginning with this individual, but they are not like this now. They're different now. Now they are in control. They were controlling the whole situation. You see, when you reach out to somebody and they don't respond back, when we're dealing with somebody in the ego, that is a control mechanism. The more they do not answer you, the more you'll keep coming back going, oh, come back, come back, come back, you know, feeding the ego, right? And I do see that they were very controlling and that was one of the things they did. There were a few others. But this person, they, you know, they may have talked a lot, planned things with you, said, oh, I, I, you know, I can see you and me, you, your marriage material, you and I riding off into the sunset, but did not come through because they were taking care of their own life. They didn't express to you exactly how they felt. They were in that daydreamy kind of state. And I don't think it was just you. I think they were actually going through a lot of emotional cleansing to where they didn't even know what they felt. So them being closed down at this point in time, it was all more illusional what they expressed to you because they didn't really know how they felt. They may have felt the connection. They may have expressed that to you, but boy, you guys, you, you really, there's a lot of love here. There really is a tremendous amount of love between the two of you. And you know that you absolutely know that. Okay. You know, the Knight of Cups is them coming in to say, I love you. Them expressing what they didn't share before. But this is saying you're seeing them as this authoritative individual. They may be actually, there is an age difference between you in this group. And they're telling me it's uh, 8 to 11 years. 8-11, yeah. Age gap age gap between the two of you you know the knight of cups that's that dreamy energy where they don't they really don't necessarily take action but they do have feelings so they did tap into their feelings and i am hearing they really did see the connection but they didn't open up they didn't share they didn't they didn't even focus on you you did the work you did great. 
you rebuilt you, you rebuilt your life. You're just, the only thing missing now is love. So you're a little worried about it. Now this can be them coming in, expressing their love to you. And of course we're going to go further, but this is definitely the way you see them, right? Now they're going to come in. They're going to tell you their truth. They've been eight of pentacles is them working really hard. Seven of pentacles. So they've gone through, they've gone through the dark night of the soul. This card is always reminds me of the dark night of the soul with the dark and the dreary and the dread associated to this picture. They've analyzed everything in their life, what worked, what didn't work, what failed, what got buried into their subconscious mind. And they've had to do a lot of work to unbury it in order for them to actually see where they went wrong, actually see where they went wrong. What did they do wrong? They were afraid. They didn't open up. Why? That's what's down in the depths of this dirt is why. So they had to do a lot of work. Absolutely. A lot of work for them to be able to come in and say, okay, I'm coming in with the truth. This is how I feel. This is the truth. This is what happened. And this is really important communication. I mean, this is very important communication. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to pull a, a I'm going to pull an advice card. We're going to continue this on Vimeo, but let me see what advice because this is saying they are coming in. They're going to be a little bit more jovial than the last time. You see, to me, the king, the emperor, rarely they don't laugh a whole lot. They're very serious natured individuals. Don't get me wrong. They do have a sense of humor. They do have fun side, but it doesn't come out because they are so busy controlling the world. That's how you saw them all talk, no action. This is what you want them to come in and say the truth that I love you. So they've really gone through and done a lot of reflection. Let's see what the advice card is. And then I'll pull a romance angel card as well. So we actually have two that came out. One is blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you're already there. You recognize this. They're coming to that point where they, you know, through their analyzing and recognizing that they just talked, they didn't follow through with anything. Through all of this, they really did a lot of work for self-discovery self-growth and this is the truth they want a new beginning they are going to express this to you guys this is communication now the truth is this is about fear this is about them opening up them going in doing the dark night of the soul reflecting on their shadow what they needed to fix why they didn't come through when they talked love but didn't act on it I'm seeing they went completely opposite on you in this group, completely opposite. So there may have been the blame game back and forth, and that could very well be what you are anxious and worried about. I think it's more about them coming in. And the second card is regret. I know that I cannot change the past. We can't change the past, but we can be forthcoming and set things back into balance and that's what's needed in this particular group they don't need to just speak the truth it is all about putting it back into balance because before the six and the six of pentacles was here that six of pentacles is where the two of you went off they were putting more energy attention etc into someone something else and i think it was their finances but they figured it out. So I don't think you're going to have too, too much blame or regret. I think you guys are really going to blend well when they come in. Oopsie. It's not working well. They're going to blend. It's going to blend well. You're both going to be accountable for your portion for both sides. All right. Let's take a look at what the romance card is for you guys. 
engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So you may be anxious, worried, are they going to give you the offer? This is saying they are coming in. They also want a new beginning and they really have done a lot of work. They're going to come in, they're going to be a little bit more jovial, might make you a little distrusting. Again, they were all talk, no action. They didn't follow through with things giving us this feeling that they are not going to, you know, there's that distrust, right? So they're coming in to say, look, this is what happened. And this is what I see. I see this person is really going to open up. Now it may take, uh, I see it more happening. They're going to communicate in August, but I see in the first or second week of September, they're actually going to start talking about the journey that they experienced the spiritual aspects of this journey is going to come through. So hopefully we'll see that on the second half of this video because I want to see where this is definitely going. So if you guys like this, uh, please thumbs up. And also for until Friday, this Friday, I've got uh, the video reading available. And this is only the second time I put the videos available for sale this year. So Please uh, take a look at the website, AscendingSoulsJourney.com. And for those of you who'd like to follow me, the link for Vimeo is below. Have a wonderful week. Much love.